Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're going to try to pull a golden ticket. We'll see if we can actually pull my first golden ticket but you guys can see Bo Jackson is selling for 6.5 million coins and I'm not quite sure how to feel about it. Now if you guys missed my video from earlier today, I went over all of the new draft promo which is coming out tomorrow. I went over all of the information regarding that promo in that video. Definitely check that video out. Also went over all of the confirmed Golden Ticket players that will be coming out for the rest of the Golden Ticket promo. He actually released a list of players. So go ahead and check that video out. There's like two or three different from when I made that confirmed video. So either people changed or something happened. But there's like a couple different majority of them are still the same so check that video out though but there are some different ones so check that video out but i want to give a shout out to brayden green for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn that notification bell on and comment down below noti gang and i also want to say thank you guys for all the support because you guys have been ridiculous i definitely want to try to get some gameplay today uh, i'm gonna to try to pull bo jackson or rg3 i definitely want to get either rg3 or bo jackson in gameplay i'm kind of trying to get both of them i feel like it'd be two different gameplays though because you know obviously i'm gonna run the ball in one i'm gonna pass the ball in the other one so i want to do that but let me go ahead and show you guys these stats on these three golden ticket players and then i'm gonna go ahead open up some packs we'll see what we can do i also do want to mention though by the way when it comes to the uh, draft promo candy goes away tomorrow now it's one candy equals 1.5 training points so be on the lookout for that conversion tomorrow so if you guys have 100 candy, that will turn into 150 training points tomorrow. So either use your candy or just hold on to it either or. But you guys can see, we do have Bo Jackson, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 98 carrying, 72 catch, 97 looseness, 99 truck, and break tackle. Insane stats. Like, this is ridiculous. You guys can all see 93 strength. Uh, let's take a look at his other stats. I really want to see like the spin and juke and everything. So he does have a 99 stiff arm, 99 spin, 97 juke move. That is just insane. 70 spec catch, 66 catch in traffic with whatever route running, right? But you guys can see also he does have two power, one elusive, and one receiving ability slots. Also, we've got RG3, which is the one that I actually helped Dom make. Dom bought one off someone that pulled a GT uh, to be able to actually make RG3. So... We have RG3 coming, and he's actually out today. You guys can see Dom actually did upgrade the, uh, what was it we decided? I think it was short, medium, and deep. I think it was all three he decided to upgrade on him, but his medium is not really that high, and he has a 99 play action. I don't exactly know why his play action got upgraded so much, but his medium really didn't get upgraded that much at all. 95 speed though, 98 throw power, 98 short, 91 medium, 96 deep, 99 throw under pressure, throw on the run, and a 99 play action. Card definitely looks really good. Maybe not as good as Vic, though. 94 acceleration. He's also got an 82 carrying, which is super, super good. 90 spin, 91 juke move. It's RG3. The card looks pretty good. Next up, though, in the third golden ticket for today is Kervon LeBlanc. And please, 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 don't buy this card for 3 mil. He's been selling for literally 3 million coins. And if you just compare him to Byron Jones, don't buy him. Don't buy him for three mil. This is Byron Jones right here, who is nowhere near even a million coins. And people are buying this card for three mil. And take a look at the stack pairs. And keep in mind, you cannot power up Carvalho LeBlanc. You can add Sprinter and like John Madden, whatever. So you can get his speed up, everything like that. But he's already got 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. Really good. 97 play rank, 95 jump, 96 agility, 95 speed, 97 excel. It's a good looking card, but he's not worth the coins at all. Now, I will say, he does have pretty good catching at 81. Also, his tackling's really good at 79. His block shed as well is pretty good. It is a 95 jumping, but he is 5'10". His block shed is a 68, which is pretty good. But it's not like 90 block shed, like you need this card. And he's got 82 hit power. So, 3 million coins that have the same stats as Byron Jones. Just a little bit better block shed, hit power, catching, and tackle. No. So let's go ahead and get into some packs. So we're going to do at least 10 game changers here. We're going to do some more packs after this as well. If we don't happen to pull a golden ticket, as you guys know, I have yet to actually pull a golden ticket player as we get a redux here in this first game changer pack. 92 Cooper Cup. Okay. 
That's actually a solid uh, first game changer pack. There we get two much superstars. We get a Cooper Cup and a Legend piece as well. Tomorrow, of course, we do have the draft promo coming out, though. 99 Cam Newton. A lot of really good cards coming out tomorrow. 86 Yannick Nagakwe. We get a Coin Quick Sell. 82 Emmanuel Sanders. All right, this is actually going pretty dang good. We get five elites in these packs. And that's 38,000 coins. I'll definitely take that. If you guys didn't know, Game Changers give you five 81 plus overall elite players. So maybe we can get lucky. We'll see. I'm getting a lot of tweets of people pulling golden ticket players, though. Let's get 86 Devin Bush there. And unfortunately, that pack is not really that great. If you're wondering about the odds on Game Changers, though, you have a 5.5% chance of pulling a 93 plus. So a 99 overall. Yeah, it's uh, going to be kind of tough to pull out of literally any pack, though. As you get 90 overall, Lamar Miller, 87 overall, Demarius Thomas right there. I also have Legend Fantasy Packs to open, so we could do some of those. We definitely could try some of those. Test my luck to get 91 Kevin Green right there. That's actually a pretty dang good pull. Von Miller's coming out tomorrow, though. Speaking of outside linebackers, Von Miller's coming out tomorrow, and I'm super excited to pick up that card. TJ Watt has done me very, very good, but yeah probably gonna end up making the switch back to von miller depending on the stack pairs let's see exactly how he looks tomorrow as you get 81 overall here another coin quick sell 82 kittle again i'll take it man 93 whitney merciless okay and an 88 overall jarvis landry so that was actually a really really good pack right there game changer pack so far looking pretty good so we'll do these three three uh final packs here and then we'll see what other packs we have in case we don't have him pull a GT. Let's get a bunch of legend pieces. 85 Larry Allen and an 82 overall James Washington. It looks like these packs are just filled with legend set pieces and full legends. But I guess I'll take it. We get 87 Ken Houston. Another legend piece there. Another legend piece. 85 Marcus Allen. And we get a 90 overall punter. So we'll do one more game changer. And then we'll see what other packs can do. Probably legend fantasy if I haven't opened them, I don't believe. 89 82 86 and yikes so that was 500k but i actually have got elite player packs and these give you a guaranteed 85 plus elite player so let's do it let's, let's get into these packs i'm gonna do all these elite player packs and if it was still don't pull anything good I might mess around and do some more packs, man. I really, really want to try to pull a GT. This right here is 1 million coins worth of packs, though. This is not cheap to do, so I'd definitely appreciate if you guys would drop a like on the video. It's again, 90 and an 85 and an 88 overall with that power-up Ray Lewis right there. So was that pack worth the 50K? Maybe. Probably not, because I'm sure the market is just absolutely tanking. As again, 80 overall, 87, and an 88 overall right there. Hopefully, you guys are having a bit of luck, though. If you haven't pulled a golden ticket, let me know down below. Let me know if you guys happen to pull a G team. Which one did you pull? As again, 89, Teddy Bridgewater. 95, Weston Richburg. I completely skipped over the animation there, but that is a really nice pull. 95 overall, Weston Richburg. I think I had one of him. I'm pretty sure I pulled with him like last week, and I sold him for like 120K or something. As again, 85 and a 76. Tyree Kill power up, I don't think really goes for that much anymore. Probably like 20K, maybe. I honestly don't even know. We get a good pull right here, though. 91 Kyle Rudolph. Okay, that's actually a really good pull. Series Redux. 87 Jonathan Abram. I can't, I, I can't with that. I absolutely cannot stand when you pull a like super, super low overall Series Redux. It's just pathetic, man. We get an 80 overall here. Free agency, 86, 85, kicker, and we also get a Mutt Hero. I'm so, I really want to reveal all because I feel like if I reveal all, I may end up pulling one, but I don't want to skip over the pack animation because it's the coolest animation in the game, and I just want to see it pop up when I pull the GTs. We get an 87, Corey Peters. I don't, if I somehow go this entire year and I don't pull a single golden ticket, I would be surprised with how many packs that I'm going to open up. We don't pull one GT. There's something wrong with these packs. So let's get into this final lead player pack here. And then we're going to do some other packs as well. We get a 79, 87. We get, what, what's up with all the, the theme builder players? Though? That's kind of weird. 90 overall and an 87. We also get the Zeke power up. So elite player packs, game changer packs, those are done. We do have some legend fantasy packs. So maybe I'll get into like five of these or so. We already spent a million coins and I don't want to spend too many coins more than that because I obviously do want to get some gameplay with those new golden ticket players. So let's just see if we can clutch it out, man. Can we clutch out a GT? Round number two, give me something good. 
We got an 80 overall, and yeah, that was just kind of bad. You guys may notice why well, 500,000 training points. Uh, I have that many because of all the Easter eggs that opened up, obviously. I didn't really know what to do with everything, right? Because the value stuff just completely shot down. So I decided I'm just going to get training points. So tomorrow with the new draft promo, I'm going to have a lot of training points to go ahead and use on literally whatever I want in the draft room. There's a bunch of, or there's only one, I believe, actual like training uh, currency exchange. So I'll probably just end up doing a bunch of that pack and we'll get Cam Newton pretty easily tomorrow. Round two though, here we get an 87, 81, 80, not looking too good. Go with the 81 and the 80. Legend 89, Michael Strahan. They might go for something. And we also get ourselves a 92 Keith Bullocks. That's actually pretty dang good. I always forget that with the Legend Fantasy Packs, you can only choose one player in round number three. So imagine if you got a Legend Fantasy Pack and you got like RG3 and Bo Jackson. That sucked that you couldn't choose both. Because that'd be like a 12 million coin pack. That'd be incredible. And you can only pick one of them. We get 88 here in round number one. That's actually really, really good and really rare there. Round two, give me a golden ticket. Golden ticket in round two. 80 overall, and I guess we'll just go with both 80s. Round number three, then we get a 90. Let's get an 87, 92, and a 93 overall Bobby Wagner. So we're going to go with the B-Wags there. I'm not going to do too many more packs. Get down to 7.5 mil, but we'll do at least two more. Okay, we'll do at least two more Legend Fantasy packs here. I'm trying. I'm giving it my best to try and pull one of these golden ticket players. Round number one, we get a bunch of golds per usual, so we'll go with those. Round number two, though, 83. Okay, 84. Nothing good, man. Dang. Okay, we'll go one Thornhill there. Series Redux. Give me 95. 89 DK Metcalf. What? Why the trolls? 94. Jesse Tuggle, though. So that actually makes up for it, I guess, that Legend Fantasy. So we'll do one more Legend Fantasy pack here. But if it's good, okay, if this is a good pack, we may end up doing a couple more Legend Fantasy packs. I'm giving it my best shot, guys. I'm absolutely trying my hardest to pull a GT here. Round one, we'll go the 82. Come on, man. Give me a GT animation. You can give me, I don't even care if it's a new one. Give me just any golden ticket. Just give me any GT. I'll take Kelvin Benjamin. 89, come on, big pull. 90 overall. All right, that pack was so bad. I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna, we're gonna do one final pack you guys. If we don't end up pulling a GT, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And if this pack is good, I'll probably continue on. If it's bad, this is going to be it. As in round number one here, we get nothing really. Round two, 83, coin quick sell, 84, Kyle Juszczyk. So we're probably going to do another pack. How much is he quick sell for? Is it like 100K? 80K. Okay, so we'll take him and, of course, the 83. 90, 88, and nothing good in round number three. But we did get the Kyle Juszczyk, so we'll go ahead and we'll quick sell him, and then I'll go ahead and just open up some more packs. That was 80,000 coins, so it almost paid for the pack. Just 10,000 coin difference, which we definitely made off of the other players that we pulled in the pack. So, yeah, I'd say it qualifies to open up these. We get an 81 overall here and a 70. Round two, please. Big pull, big pull, big pull. Nothing, man. Why do you have to do me like this, EA? Round number three, we get a Color Smash player, 89, 88, 86. We got an 89 Troy Hill. Guys, I tried my absolute best. We spent over 1 million coins on packs, and unfortunately, no golden ticket poll just yet. But tomorrow, we have the draft room. I'll probably open up some more packs there. Saturday, you guys know I'm going to open up packs for lunch. And if you guys want to see me do another pack opening for golden ticket players tomorrow, drop a like in the vid. Let me know down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. See you guys next time.